Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in a couple of weeks, but I thought I would vlog my week this week, so I just wanted to pick up my vlog camera and start the vlog, I guess. I feel like I wear this sweater all the time, but it's my favorite sweater from Shadow Hill. Um, I have some pretty exciting things I'm doing this week, so I just thought I'd bring you guys along for it. Tonight, I'm just chilling. And tomorrow night I'm just chilling as well, but on Wednesday night I'm getting a manicure. My nails are in desperate need of one, they're just like really grown out. And then on Wednesday, or on Thursday, I'm going to a William Ashley uh, warehouse event, which will be super exciting. I'll bring you guys along for both of those. Okay. Hey guys, um, I got my HelloFresh box, so I'm just going to unbox it with you guys. Um, I don't know where my like box cutter is, so I just have to use an egg. So I got the Italian mozzarella panini with herby tomato soup, creamy bacon risotto. I love their risotto and I also love their soup, so I'm super excited. Barramundi and brown butter lemon sauce. Um, I think I mentioned it before, but I love barramundi a lot. So really excited to eat that. I always get it when it's on, when it's on the menu. Garlicky mixed mushroom farro bowl. I've heard really good things about this one. And then there's a falafel platter. Happy Wednesday. Um, I didn't pick up my vlog camera yesterday, which was Tuesday obviously, but it was just because I was busy at work and then wasn't feeling the best, so I just thought it wasn't worth vlogging. Um, today was double star day, so I picked up a Starbucks. I got a venti black tea lemonade, no liquid cane syrup, and five pumps raspberry syrup. That's my order if you're new here. Um, I sometimes will get an iced coffee or a coffee. I love the taste, however, they do make my stomach hurt a lot, so I try to stay away from coffee as much as possible, but sometimes I will cave and get it, but I for sure do suffer the consequences of getting them. Um, I'm just about to start my work day, but I am going out for lunch, so I will bring you guys out, I will bring you guys along for that, and then I'm getting my nails done tonight, which is much needed because I peeled off a few of my gel nails so they look really bad right now but I'll bring you guys along for that as well I'm going to Majesty's Pleasure my favorite place they're the only place that I'm going to right now because um, they take amazing COVID precautions and they're super close to where I live so it's just really convenient and yeah I'll catch up with you guys at lunch <laughs> Hey guys, um, I took a few clips when I was out for my lunch break. I went to Rotation, which is a sushi burrito place in Toronto, and it's so good. I showed you guys what I got as well. Um, but I did get a package when I walked back into my building. It is from Tentree. I worked with them a few months ago, and I'm working with them with, on their fall campaign. And they sent me a few pieces. I chose them all in this color. I thought it'd be cute to mix and match them, but let me show you guys what I got. So this is a long sleeve shirt. Um, I'll have everything linked down below. I don't know if there's, it's called the French Terry Balloon Sleeve Crew in olive. I really, really like the color. I feel like it'd look really good on my skin tone. Um, everything is in the same color. I also got the cropped hoodie, which I thought was gonna be really cute. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with hoodies. I mostly have non-cropped hoodies but I thought it'd be cute to add one to my collection. I got everything in a size small just because that is my size and things are like not oversized I would say but they aren't skin tight on you so um, just a heads up on that. Um, then I just got the, let me see what it's called actually, Olive Night Green uh, Terry, French Terry Jogger. 
so yeah i'm super excited to style these and wear them in the fall time i think this color is going to be super in i mean it's never really gone out but i really really like it so yeah i just want to show you guys what i got from tentry um i do have a code to share with you guys as well which i'll put on the screen and like i said everything will be linked down below hey guys i'm about to go get my nails done at majesty's pleasure and i just wanted to do a little ot and i guess now it's almost six o'clock um, I'm wearing this little cardigan from Zara. Uh, this cute little top is from Brandy Melville and my sweatpants are from Aritzia. And I'm just wearing my Adidas shoes. I don't know why I'm showing you guys them like this, but that's my look. Just a cute, cozy look for getting my nails done. Welcome back to my channel. This is going in a vlog that I already said that in, so welcome back to the video, I guess. Um, last night I went to the William Ashley warehouse sale, so I actually have a haul to do. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second, though, because I haven't been that active on YouTube and on Instagram recently. I did take a one-week break off of Instagram, which was honestly much needed. Um, I, it was just really nice to, like, enjoy my, a little bit of my life, um, even though I enjoy it when I post stuff on Instagram, but sometimes it gets a lot trying to vlog, post photos, and post stories and stuff, and even though I do share a lot of my life on the internet, um, there's a lot of stuff that you guys don't know about. Um, especially because I choose what I put out and like what I film and stuff, but it was just really nice to like enjoy some time alone and I also had my mom, well actually she's still here, my mom is visiting me from the states. Uh, we had to quarantine for two weeks, so part of my like break was the beginning of quarantine. We're out now, um, my first day out I got my nails done, if you guys can see, I'm obsessed with them, I got, went to Her Majesty's Pleasure in Toronto. But anyways, yeah, I just took a break, and then my break kind of ended up being longer. I've still been posting stories and some posts. I honestly haven't been shooting as much, though, because during, um, like, since my break that I actually took and told you guys about, it's gotten so cold in Toronto, so it's been just kind of hard to shoot and plan out shoots and stuff. And when we were quarantining, we just I wasn't in the mood to shoot. Anyways, that's not why I turned on my camera. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory as to why I wasn't or I'm not that active on social media. I'm hoping to shoot a lot this weekend and just get some stuff out for you guys. Um, my routine has changed, obviously, having my mom here. Anyways, let me show you guys what I got from the William Ashley Warehouse Sale. Um, I just... I got invited to the sale which was really nice, um, it is open from October 31st to December 23rd, so you guys can go shop it during those times. Um, I got excited, I got, well I was excited to go for the VIP preview and I was able to shop it before the public which was a really cool experience. I've never been to a warehouse sale like that. So it was 25,000 square feet, so really big. First thing I got that I'm just holding is a wooden cutting board. Um, it was $14.99, which is a really good price. It's bamboo. Uh, honestly, like I didn't need it, 
but I I could I could use it. It's like a really good quality one, so that's good. Um, I don't have any good quality wooden cutting boards, so I wanted one. And also doubles in the cheese board. Um, which leads me into my next purchase, which is this like cheese knife. They're cheese knives. I don't know why I like blanked on that. I love making charcuterie boards, so I mean right now I'm not hosting that many people, but when I do, I really do like making them. And even if like I have a few friends come over during the pandemic, it's really nice having that as like a smaller dinner option or something like that. So I did get these because I didn't have anything like this. Um, I was also gifted a $100 gift card from William Ashley, so it was really exciting to use that and shop. Um, another thing that I got, oh did I say, that was $10.99, these are $10.99, I'm just gonna let you guys know the prices because I'm always curious. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it was $3.99 and I just, I really liked it. I also love candy, so it's called a candy dish, I don't know why it's so hard to open. Um, I thought it was really cute. So I'll see where I'm going to put it in my place. I'm sure I'll find a spot for it and I can get cute like candies Whoops. and change them out. But it looks like that. I don't know. I thought it was really, really cute and I've been seeing them all over Instagram on like the, uh, whoa, on the vintage Instagrams. Like, you know how people, it's like a, trend, a thing right now. I feel like people go thrifting and sell their stuff on Instagram which I love because I'm really impatient and I don't like searching for stuff at thrift stores I'd rather buy them from curated vintage or thrift stores online mm -hmm. um but anyways yeah I, I see candy dishes like that all the time so I thought it was really cute and obviously a really good price the next thing that I got So I moved into my apartment that I'm in right now, end of May, and I have one bowl like to eat out of. And before you guys say that's like super weird, I don't eat cereal, like I have always, I've never been a huge cereal eater, so I, and I don't like soup that much, like I'll eat soup, but I'm not obsessed with soup. I have these like shallow dishes so like you could you could use them as bowls but they're not really bowls but I just got basic white bowls they were 250 each really just like they're just white bowl they're just a white bowl um I got four of those I'm not going to show you each one because they're all wrapped and I don't feel like unwrapping them all for you guys because they look the same um I got a grater because I didn't have one my, when my mom came. She was like, you don't have a grater, like you need to get one. So this was $10.99 and just like a basic grater. I didn't realize this big thing and I don't love it, but I will say it's easy to hold and stuff, so it's fine. So yeah, I got a grater, a necessity. Um. I also really needed a spatula, like a new one, and I really, really like this one. It's silicone, and it has metal like under it, so it looks like it's really good quality. This was $6.99. Honestly, I got a lot of necessities, as you can tell, except for the candy dish and the cheese knives. I wouldn't call those necessities. Those are like fun stuff. <laughs> Um, I got a vegetable peeler. Again, another one of my mom's requests. I do re I do agree with her though. I did need one really bad. But yeah, just a vegetable pe vegetable peeler. It was 4.50. Um, and then I got so one of the reasons I was super excited to go to the William Ashley sale was because I heard that they had Le Creuset stuff for really well discounted. The Le Creuset stuff is rarely discounted, so I was pretty excited to go. I wanted to get a Dutch oven from there. Um, unfortunately, the stuff that they had, everything, they had like everything. They had Dutch ovens, they had kettles, which I already have a kettle from them anyway, so I wasn't looking for that. 
They had plates, bowls, like pr pretty much everything Lucuzia sells. However, they were all in this teal color which I wasn't the biggest fan of, so I just decided not to get anything. But they do have a great selection and everything was discounted, so if you are looking for something Le Creuset, I would highly recommend getting it from William Ashley Warehouse Sale. Um, but I did end up getting, my mom wanted me to get a trivet, so I saw one by Le Creuset. Everything was this color, by the way, um, like a teal bluish. And I was like, okay, this doesn't really matter if it's teal, and I really need one anyway. So I just got this, just so I could say I got something from Le Creuset, and my mom requested this, so got that. Um, and then I just got a Pyrex dish, what, I don't know, like just like a baking dish. I think that's all I got. Yeah, the rest of the things in, the, in there were the bowls, like the other bowls. But yeah, everything was a necessity, like I said, except for the candy dish and the cheese knives. It was really exciting to get to go to that event, um, especially the VIP, like being able to go before it was open to the public. So thank you again, William Ashley, for inviting me. And I really recommend that you guys go to the event. They have a lot of Christmas decorations and like they had a lot of art and they had some coffee table books as well but yeah it was really exciting I'm trying to think of other stuff they had they had a lot of wine glasses um I just bought most like I had everything I needed for my bar cart but they did have a lot of bar cart stuff as well lots of kitchen stuff as you could tell it's like basically all that I got um but yeah I think that's all I have to say. Um, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here just because I don't really want to vlog this weekend. I will be very active on Instagram though so don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. My name will be right here and I I really enjoy doing YouTube so I do really want to continue it and post more for you guys, post more on Instagram. I get I get really, really happy when I do. Like I get excited when I post an Instagram or YouTube video. So stay tuned for more content from me. And it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed, liked the video and left a comment down below. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go now because this clip is 15 minutes and I have a feeling I repeated myself like a hundred times. So okay, bye guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have an amazing day.